This is Ozlot TV. Today we're here in Frankfurt with um, the Danish guitar gangsters Volbeat. Hi, John. Hi. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you very much. So your latest record um, was a top seller all over Europe. How does it feel to um, to be in the mainstream and to play all those big festivals and sold out big venues? How does it feel? Um, well course it's like a dream come true you know because that's I guess what's 99% of everybody who wants to play music that's what they want to achieve you know to be able to play you know big venues big festivals have a number one album and, and all that stuff and you know we've been fortunate and lucky enough to to, res to have most of it so of course we are very privileged and we are very happy about it of course um, would you have expected this success about three or four years ago never Uh, no, never. I mean, even from day one, when Michael and I started it, when he came up with the first ideas for songs, we were both like, well, we think it's fun, but who's going to listen to this? What is it? Is it is it metal? Is it punk? Is it rock and roll? What is it? We don't know. To this day, we still don't know what it is. You know, People have a lot of names for it, and that's fine. But for us, it's just music, basically. Exactly. Um, uh, it's it's often called your style is often called Elvis metal. Mm -hmm. Who was the first to bring that uh, that 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 name to your music? Was it yourself or was it a magazine? No, it was definitely not us. Um, who came up with it? Maybe yeah, maybe one magazine at some point, or maybe it was fans. I I don't know where it came from, but it, it's kind of got stuck that we play Elvis metal, and you, that's fine if they want to call it Elvis metal. Fine. Great. Um, you've been on tour very long now. Um, I, I don't know. How long have you been on tour now? Well, basically for the last 10 years. Uh, well, now this tour is, we started last week in England. Um, and before that, we had like a month off of a vacation. We came from America after playing in seven weeks, I think, in the US. And now we are back doing a new set of arena shows in, in mainland Europe. Uh, we're going to stay here until November the 17th would be the last show, and once that is done, it's home. Ah. But you've been on tour a lot during the last years. Um, do you never get tired of touring, always touring, always next new new city? Of course you get tired of it every once in a while, especially if you get sick on the tour, which usually happens. Um, then you're really sick and tired of it. And But, you know, it's it's... It's our life, you know. It's our job. This is what we what we do, and we're good at what we do. So, and we shouldn't really complain about it because, again, like I said before, how many bands will never be able to to experience what we have experienced over, the, especially in the last few years, you know? So, still fun to go out on tour most of the times. Um, you're going on the Gigan tour with Megadeth uh, and a couple of others. Um, um, are you looking forward to it? Is it special to you? It is kind of special because um, for Michael, uh, he's a huge Megadeth fan. Uh, we we're all huge Motorhead fans. And so just be able to see Motorhead for like 30 days in a row, it's going to be amazing. Um, I know Lacuna Coil is playing on that tour as well. It's just going to be kind of interesting because I've heard the name over the last few years, but I don't think I've ever heard their music actually. So it's going to be interesting. Um, And yeah, I mean, it's still, you know, Megadeth is um, among the big four bands, you know, so it, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for the best, actually. Can you already tell us something about uh, where, where or when it's going to happen? I know that the tour will start in late January, um, and it's going to end, I think, early March, but, and I know it's, it's an American thing, but... Where? I have no idea. I haven't seen any schedules yet, so I don't know. I guess it will be, you know, America and Canada. Um, your new um, live DVD is coming out by the end of the month. What can we expect? Well, you can expect the whole package, basically. Uh, we recorded um, the show in Denmark last year at the Forum in front of 10,000 sold-out crowd. Uh, which was filmed and we had basically almost any guest that we've ever had on any albums was there. There were a few who couldn't make it uh, for w various reasons. So you got one full show from Denmark, you get a show from Anaheim, California, which was taped earlier this year, which is basically a club show. And there are a few surprises on that one as well, which I will not mention. You have to see it for yourself, boys and girls. Um, and there is going to be a live CD included as well. 
which I think was recorded basically the whole European tour from last year. So I think the songs are from different places actually. But it's going to be out, I think, on November the 23rd now. I think it's 28th in Europe. Okay. Or in Germany. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, and it's going to be released as, I guess, it's like three different versions or something like I think it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, uh, DVD pack, uh, live CDs, and pretty nice little package. So everything in it this time. Um, I, I heard even uh, Rock am Ring or Rock im Park. Oh, yeah, that's true. There is some footage from Rock am Ring from, from this year, actually. I forgot about that. There's, there's some footage from there as well. I think there's um, some backstage stuff, interview stuff uh, with ourselves, with the guests and, and everything. But I've, even I haven't seen the finished product yet, so I wouldn't know. But I think there's probably something like that in there. Nice. You mentioned uh, on the DVD we can see um, footage from all over the world, like USA, Germany or Denmark. Um, are the fans uh, different when you go to another uh, country? Do they have different traditions to react to your music or something like that? Mm, I would say no. Um, not, not really. I mean, when you, when you look at the crowd, it's basically like the same. I would probably say that maybe the Americans are a bit more polite. Um, that's what I thought, but doing some of the shows, there was definitely some who, w who wasn't that polite, actually. But no, I think the crowd reaction basically is the same all over, no matter where you play, actually. Everyone's freaking out and liking it. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, some of them are crying as well. I don't know if it's because we're bad or they're crying because of the music. I guess it's the music. Okay. The Germans are known for beer, sausages, and sauerkraut. Yeah. Uh, what are the Danish people known for, or what what food do we have to taste? What are what are the Danish known for? Uh, possibly meat, potato, and very fat gravy. What was the last one? Gravy. Okay. What is that? Sauce. Sauce. Hmm. Thick sauce. And well, and let's see what else. Well, of course, the world famous Danish bacon and the beer. Do you like the German beer too? Yeah, I do. Better than the Danish or not? Mm, to be honest, I prefer the British beer. Okay, fine. Um, in your music, um, they are often mentioned Cadillacs. Um, who's the Cadillac fan? Every one of you, do you own um, cars like that? Uh, no, we live in Denmark. We can't afford cars like that. Um, well, who would be the... F I guess Michael would probably be be the fan of that one. He keeps talking about, you know, getting an old American car, so I'll probably say that's his responsibility. But again, you know, it's with the kind of lyrics that he writes, it's it's kind of fitted in the whole image, you know, you're probably thinking about the guitar gangster stuff and all that and, and the area it was supposed to be written for. So Cadillacs, gangsters, you know, kind of fits together. Nice. The live DVD will be the next release, but um, people have in mind if you're already working on the next studio album, maybe already writing songs on tour. Have you done anything? Uh, no, we haven't really done anything on, on the tour so far. I know Michael's already started, you know, getting a few ideas together, um, but I don't think we're going to do anything about that stuff until we get home. Um, We're thinking about, you know, maybe take some time off and basically just bury ourselves in our rehearsal room and, and start banging out new songs. But I think he has maybe a few bits and pieces here and there that he likes to try out, but we have no complete songs yet or anything. Okay, so we, we will have to be patient. Um, Thank you very much for the interview. Uh, go to the shows, attend the shows, buy the live DVD. It's really worth it. And if you, I think it's worth it. And if you can get a ticket for the show, go there. It's really amazing. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much.